Well, hello there and how are you? I've already prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. And my razor today is going to be this Valet Auto Strop razor. In there on its first use will be one of these blades. I normally use the Feather FHS-10 blades, but I'm not sure these might be the FA FHS-5 or something to that effect. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you call these, just that other blade that fits these other than an actual valet auto strop blade that you would have to strop yourself. And uh, my soap today is going to be this, uh, sent to me kindly from the folks at Alien Shave in Chicago, Illinois. They're Samurai from their Steel series. And my brush, which I've already lathered up, is the KC Shave Company Silver Tip Badger Brush. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get a lather going here. Um, let me pour a little bit of uh, hot water into the sink here, just to uh, just to very barely wet the tips of this, which I already have lathered. I don't know if it needed any more water, but just a touch. Here we go. Hope you're all doing well out there this week. Let me put a little bit more water on here. My friend Kevin, I won't give his last name right now for his privacy, in case that's a thing with him, an old roommate of mine from the college years. Um, yeah, he, uh, he got me in touch with these alien shave folks, and uh, they wanted me to kind of review or at least to do a video with one of their uh, soaps and ask me what uh, what scent most appealed to me, and the samurai sounded good. So, uh, I forget what all the scent notes on here, or in here, are, and Heaven knows I need to get some cheaters because my eyes aren't the best, but uh, this uh, smells pretty good. I think there might be cherries involved or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that, but I'm going to go ahead and shave with this. And uh, on, I'll put a link to their website down below. All the scent notes are listed for their soaps on there. So let me go ahead and drain this water now. And I'm going to wet my razor. And here we go, pass number one with the grain. Be interesting to see how this blade compares with the FHS-10 feather blades that I normally use in my Valet Auto Strop razors. I've got two such razors. One is a, of an older vintage, and I think I prefer this one. Let me go ahead and rinse since this is a single edge. have to rinse twice as often since I'm not using a double-edged blade. Nice scent on this soap, as I said, and probably a 3 or 4 out of 10 for scent strength. That's not a value judgment, it's just telling you what the scent strength is. And this is one of those scents that I think kind of builds and begins to fill the old necessity room here with a pleasant scent. Now I got an itch on the end of my nose here. Okay, rinse time. That was quick. Rinsing that, I mean. I don't know if this blade's as sharp as those 
Feather FHS-10 blades that I normally use, and I've still got some of those. But I thought I would open this pack of blades and try these out. Okay. Here we go. This is hard to do under my nose at this angle. At the angle that this uh, razor is at. About a day and a half worth of growth, almost two days worth here. We've got a playlist of some of my music playing out there, which you can find on my YouTube channel under my playlists. Excuse me. <clears throat> this playlist, uh, I call more mood music for manic depressives. That might be politically incorrect in this day and age, but a friend of mine once made a mixtape years ago, back in the days of cassette tapes, I believe he called it mood music for manic depressives. So this is more mood music for manic depressives. Pretty eclectic little, little uh, mix of music here. And I've got some others on there, some realized and half realized mixes of music, some of which are still uh, works in progress, you might say. So check those out. They're on my channel. I made those public for anybody to listen to. Yes, sir. No, that's pass number one done, and uh, I'll pop out for a minute, come back for pass number two across the grain. Okay, let's go across the grain now, and by the way, this is a kind of a hard soap. I recommend lathering it for about a minute. I did have to go back to the tin to get some more, but uh, so far I'm enjoying the shave. Let's uh, continue here. Pretty sharp blade, like I said, I'm not sure it's as sharp as a uh, as an FHS-10 blade. I believe these blades didn't cost as much. These are another feather type blade. There's actually an S on there, so maybe there's an S involved in the name of this. Heaven forbid I should do uh, any research, but that's what that tuck looks like again. I believe I got these on triablade.com. Okay. At least that's usually where I get my razor blades, triablade.com. It's 
soap seems uh, to have good slickness and I don't know if it's if it's protection its thickness uh, is as good as the as the slickness but uh, it seems nice and slick let's keep going here I think they'll want to know what I think of the soap even though they sent it to me for free Most shaving soaps, indeed most artisan soaps, are at least decent. And they're often better than those you might get from an old company like Wilkinson or something like that that still makes uh, a soap for this kind of shaving to be used with a brush. Yeah, this is rinsing quickly, this razor and this soap. So I might just leave the rinsing in. Usually I cut the rinsing out to try to save time. Time on the video, that is. I don't know if you can hear the music I got playing, but I really like it. I can hear it. I guess I really don't want you to hear it because then I'll get a copyright strike against my video. Although, frankly, most of my videos have copyright strikes against them anyway from some of the, uh, some of the uh, music in the opening credits. Okay. okay, there's pass number two complete. I will pop out to relather, I'll come back and then we'll go for pass number three, against the grain. Okay, let's go against the grain now. I didn't go back to the tin this time for more lather. Yeah, that does rinse quickly. Yeah, really nice smelling soap and pretty good slickness.
kind of like a glycerin soap. It's not a white uh, soapy soap. It's kind of like a glycer glycerin puck, although you probably wouldn't be able to tell now if I showed you the puck that's in the tin, which does fill the entire tin, but I've got it all covered with lather. So it does look white now. but kind of a reddish soap. Okay, I'm gonna pop out, pop back in, and then it'll be pickup time. Okay, there's a magical clock over there this time, but over there this time, it's pickup time, everybody. Thank you, magical clock, here we go. Let's see, yeah, I probably could use a little bit more. Some dissipation there. Anyway, there we go. Well, that's about it, folks. Pretty good shave. It's at least a, probably a higher end of a DFS shave, if not BBS. And I want to kind of stop there. Well, I always find something else here. But that's just me trying to gild the lily. But, no, that's pretty good. This blade... Uh, errors on the side of being sharp, and it's kind of a darker color blade. I forgot to mention in the FHS-10, you might be able to see the dark part of the blade there. Um, it's almost like a carbon blade or something like that. Well, um, I'm going to rinse the razor, my face, the brush, and uh, I'll be right back. I'll dry off with Mr. Tal. Here's our good friend, Mr. Tal. Ooh. Ah. Mr. Tell just came out of the dryer not too long ago. Uh, uh. Yeah, feels good. Pretty nice shave, can't complain. Uh. 
I might have rushed it a little bit because I'm leaving the rinsing in on, on this video. Because it seems to me that that soap, and it's a good thing, I guess, it doesn't lather in a real pasty way. So, it, uh, it makes for easy, quick rinsing of your razor. I'm certainly no expert on lathering, even after all these years. And I've been doing traditional shaves for uh, nine years now. And sometimes, uh, I guess, I don't know, I like to discover things on my own. I have over a hundred different razors. Each one of them, I guess, is a little bit different. Yeah, that feels pretty nice and smooth there. Pretty nice. Well, I'm going to start a brief recap, and then I'll put the finishing touches on the shave here. My, uh, well, first of all, off-camera beforehand, I prep my face with Village Barber Shaving Oil, which, as I've said in other videos, you can also shave with just this if you want. Um, and it also preps your face to shave with soap. It's good for that, too. My razor with this... Razor was this Valet Auto Strop razor in there on its first use. One of these, uh, it's got an S on it. I should know what these are called, but they're not the FHS 10. In fact, they're colored more like a carbon blade, but they fit these razors. And um, okay, my soap has been. This uh, Alien Shave Company Samurai Soap, one of their Steel Series soaps. And my brush was this KC Shave Company, company that's now out of business, unfortunately, uh, Silver Tip Badger Brush from uh, the Kansas City area. Okay, let's see. Am I missing anything here? I don't think so. So I will... Uh, Apply some of the Dr. Teal's, uh, it's rose water, witch, ha witch hazel facial toner. Here we go. All right. No alcohol in this. It's just a toner, not an astringent. But toners are supposed to be very good for your skin. I ran out of my other rose water, the Roberts, which comes from Italy. But I saw that, saw this for a reasonable price at Walmart some time ago. So I got some of this. Dr. Teal's rose water. Coming up next... I'm going to have to get more of this at some point as I'm running out. But the uh, Pinot Clubman Special Reserve Aftershave Cologne, which I really like. I don't have a matching, uh, uh, a matching aftershave to go with this uh, soap, so I'm going to use this. Oh, I forgot something here. I forgot to uh, put a little bit more in the hand here. I wanted to put some on the wrists, up behind the ears, temples, a little bit in the back of the neck. Some sting from that because it does have alcohol in it. Not all aftershaves, especially your splashes, not all of those have uh, alcohol in them, but a lot of them, probably most aftershaves do, and that's a good astringent and germ killer for your face. I'd probably, uh, knock on wood, get fewer colds uh, now that I use aftershave regularly. Finally, I'm going to finish with some of the Nivea Men Energy Double Action Balm, which comes in this kind of uh, squeeze out container here. There it is again.
this stuff I think does kind of wake up your skin a little bit. This would be a very nice uh, morning shaving balm, aftershave balm, I mean. So if you shave in the morning, you might want to think about getting some of this. I had to order it online, though. I haven't seen it in stores, not here in the States, anyway. And I've only been out of this country once in Canada, and I, I didn't go looking for sh uh, shaving supplies there. Um, that's about it, folks. In fact, I wasn't even... Uh, I wasn't even doing traditional shaves back when I went to Canada for an hour one time. I'll see you next time, I hope. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.